I want to share with you two quick purposes of bulletproof panels uh, because of actor shooters, because of school shootings. People have asked me, hey, should I get a bulletproof panel? You know, what kind do I get, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to show you kind of two reasons to get them, um, why I have them. This is just some super ninja spy casing that I have where I have one of my bulletproof panels. So I'm going to remove this. Uh, so this is simple bulletproof panel. This is when people talk about, hey, I just bought a bulletproof backpack or bulletproof whatever. This is what's in it. This is soft body armor. So this is what police officers are wearing when they're wearing bulletproof vests. This will stop handgun rounds. Mm. It's not gonna stop a rifle round. So if someone's coming around with an AR-15, you're not gonna feel very good to get shot with it wearing this kind of stuff. However, I still love bulletproof panels. I still recommend them because you never know what's gonna hit you. I mean, obviously better be safe than sorry. And a lot of these crazy people are using handguns, which this will stop. So first thing is the obvious one. You get a bulletproof panel. You put it in your laptop bag, this is one of my bags. I take it in here, I can slide it all the way in here. And then once it's in here, I can shield myself, I can wear in the front and the back, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the reason I like a bulletproof panel is I'm a bag junkie, I have a lot of gear, and I can slide this into my various bags. So of course you can buy a dedicated bulletproof backpack, which and my panel just vanish. Oh. Of course, you can buy a dedicated backpack, which already has everything built in, which is certainly fine. But again, because I'm a bag junkie, gear junkie, I just take this and I move it around to the various bags that I have. Now, another reason I'm a big fan of bulletproof panels, and I recommend them, is I do dry fire shooting every single day. It's been about 10 to 15 minutes, with us save an empty handgun coming out, you know, working on my trigger control, trigger pull, making sure I've got a good, smooth draw, good, smooth trigger pull, et cetera, et cetera and huge fan of dry fire practice. But of course, you gotta be very careful. You gotta know your backstop. So what I recommend is to buy an additional bulletproof panel, wherever you're gonna get them, and you can hang these on your wall. So I literally have one of these in one of my offices where there's a nail, cause it's very top part. You can put a nail right through. It's not the panel part, it's just the fabric part. You can put a nail through it, nail it into your wall, and then you can put your target, whatever you're shooting. This is our three circles target we use when we're shooting range. Just multiple threats forcing you to think. So one shot here, one shot here, one shot here. We do it horizontally, we do it vertically, just to get you thinking. Our Mozambique failure to stop drill target, which is two to the chest, one to the head. Obviously the chest is bigger, the head makes you slow down. So again, you can tape whatever targets you want to your bulletproof panel. And of course, anytime you dry fire, you're gonna triple check that you have a safe and empty weapon. You're gonna make sure there's no ammo in the room. You're gonna do all that. But of course, people have accidental discharges, unfortunately. So if you had one, it's not gonna go through your drywall. It's just gonna go into the bulletproof panel. So I do recommend bulletproof panels. If you really wanna go overboard, you can buy a ton of them and people use them. Um, I'm not sure, how should I say this for things that are not gonna give me trouble? I've known people in certain professions that may or may not exist where they just bought a bunch of bulletproof panels and instead of spending a fortune to bulletproof their vehicle, they pretty much taped them up all over the door area because doors make horrible bullet stoppers. So don't ever think a car door is gonna stop around. That round's gonna go right through there the majority of the time, unless it hits some metal in there and tumbles around. Uh, so that's a cheap way to bulletproof some of your vehicles. Same thing with a room. If you wanted to bulletproof a door as a safe room, just literally taping up a bunch of those is a lot cheaper than spending a fortune. So get some bulletproof panels. Now you know what to do with them. I'm former CI officer Jason Hansen. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on that ring notification. Click below for more quote unquote tricky information you're not going to find anywhere else. And enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Please welcome back former CIA officer Jason Hansen. Former CIA Jason Hansen. This handsome fella is Jason Hansen. Okay. This is Jason Hansen, former CIA guy.